Well, hello, Serana. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, welcome to another edition of Skyrim Book Club. We are here right outside of Helgen. Um, I don't know why we went back to Helgen. <laughs> I honestly don't know why. Serana's been trying to cheer me up. Um, kind of in a shitty mood. We could have taken a different route. I don't know. I just... I guess I thought if I went back, I might get some closure or something. But, um... Nope. It was still just a, a horrible, gruesome sight. <laughs> I mean, I do feel lucky that I survived, obviously. There's always a silver lining to everything. Um, I guess. Um, well, we rode through there. We um, killed some bandits. And then we came down here and um, there were some, uh, some more bandits at this campsite. And, you know, I would love to be able to just walk up and say, Hey, I'm Terry. Terry the Wood Elf. What's going on, guys? Would you like some ale or mead? <laughs> Can we join your campfire? But, you know how bandits are. It's just like, attack first, ask questions later. So, of course, they attacked us and, um... Now here we are, enjoying their campsite, and they are dead. <laughs> Which is... It, it kind of gets me down sometimes, all the killing, to be honest. I know, like, I'm supposed to be tough, I'm supposed to be a warrior, an adventurer, a dragonborn, but um, after so many years of death and destruction, and dragon attacks, and wolf attacks, and bear attacks, and bandit attacks, it's just like, ugh, you know? I just, I just like to be able to enjoy a campfire with some friends. But I mean, I guess that is what I'm doing because I have I have Serana here, and I have um, Shadow Mare and Steadfast Orb and Spider, um, and Thistle's around here somewhere. There she is. Hi, Thistle. Thistle, who is an excellent addition to the team. She's so cute, and um, she really bring, brightens my day, I have to say. <laughs> no matter what kind of crazy shit is going on. Look at that little nose. Oh, you're so cute. Oh. <laughs> anyway, it's about 5.30 in the morning. We spent the night here. Um... This is a nice little campsite. Um, I'll have to come back here. Uh, I don't really have any specific plans for the book club today. I was kind of thinking, um, since we're so close to Lakeview Manor, we could ride over there and see what books I have there. Check in on the house and uh, the cow chicken on R Raya Raya I don't know how to say her name Raya I think um, and uh, I forgot that I, I think I have a bard there which is pretty cool but um, yeah we could get get him to play us a song um, but it is kind of bittersweet to be going back there. Um, oh shit. Oh shit. Oh my god. It's a tough bear. You okay, buddy? He's fine. 
Thanks for showing up, Serana. <laughs> oh, so fierce. A scary looking bear. Ugh. Oh, anyway. What I was saying is that um it's bittersweet to be going back here because um this was one of the main reasons why Uthgard and I broke up. I used to live at Lakeview Manor with Uthgard and Lucia and Sophie. Um but uh you know, what happened was she, Uthgard, she was like constantly complaining about um, that the house in Whiterun was too small. Um, and then I went through the trouble of becoming Thane of Falkyrie, building the house, you know, getting the materials and everything, and I moved them out here. And uh, all she did was complain about how dangerous it was and I was like babe this is a manor house I mean y y y you gotta make compromises if you want space you're gonna have to be out here in the wilderness um, but uh, she didn't want to hear that she thought I was being you know irresponsible not a good parent she was worried that the spiders and everything were gonna you know, eat the kids, which it's a fair point, alright, you know they were, they are just girls um, I mean, not just girls, I mean, they're they're young and um, but I, I thought that it would toughen them up, you know keep them, keep them tough anyway, I mean, fucking Lucia used to sleep in a graveyard, for God's sake I think she can handle a spider um, but anyway uh there was also this fucking necromancer site. Um, these people who keep coming here, who I regularly have to just you clean off my fucking property. It's like I'm trying to raise my kids, homie. I can't just like you know raise the dead. <laughs> on my fucking property. There are children playing here. You're the reason my marriage ended. <laughs> I guess it's not fair to blame the necromancers, but you know, why not? They're sort of scummy, scummy individuals in my opinion. Um, but anyway, yeah. After a while, it's just like, kept fighting about it and um, I had the opportunity to get them the house in solitude and they moved up there and honestly that was kind of it we haven't really lived together since then um, and it is sad but it's it's kind of all for the best to be honest um, everything worked out as it should because uh, the kids love solitude. Uthgird and the house Carl are um, close. <laughs> we'll just let's just say that they get along well with each other. And um, you know, I met Serana, and um, everybody's happy. Serana and Shadowmare and Dorvin Spider and, and Thistle and I we go out adventuring, and. Uthgird stays um, in solitude with the kids and, you know, it's all for the best. Everything works out as it should. Ooh, a deer. I still think this place is really beautiful. How are you, Bessie? Full of milk? Got some chickens? I mean, this place is a paradise. I would have loved to grow up here if I was a kid. I mean, when I was a kid. But, uh, Uthgard? Oh, shit. Oh, boy. Oh, man. I gotta be careful not to kill a spider. Oh, 
right. I think this was part of uh, this quest that I have for Kine to kill some sacred animals. I don't know. I like met some dude Froki. Is that his name? It's just like you know, riding through the mountains and. We stopped in his cabin, and he gave me this quest. Um, he seemed like a pretty cool guy. And so, I took the quest. Um, so yeah, I think that is the deal with this. That is why ghost wolves are attacking my chickens. <coughs> uh, life in Skyrim. Never a dull moment. So, um, I hope you won't judge me by the state of my manor house. I, after Uthgird and the girls moved out, I mean, I never really, like, organized it or, or, uh, decorated it, really. But, as you see, I do have a bard. Hey, man. Need some. Hmm. Why don't you, uh... Of course. Anything you like. Play some music for us, buddy. How about some instrumental music? Would be my I like this guy. He's got a great attitude. I mean, listen. He's got a cushy job. I'm hardly ever here. He just sits around eating um, apple dumplings and uh, playing his lute occasionally. That is the life, honestly, in Skyrim. Be a private, a bard at a, at a manor house? Oh, man. Cabin in the woods. I've never read this before. This could be interesting. Volume 2. Oh man, this is going to be just like the Isloff Arrow thing. Alright, I don't want to start a series out of order again, so maybe not that one. I just want to show you guys my kitchen, because it is awesome. I love the oven. Ah. Uh, smells so delicious. Take this jazz bay crossata. Um, I'm not sure honestly where my books are. <laughs> I told you I was disorganized. Anything in here? Mm, there's a lot of uh, valuable shit. Damn, are we gonna have to read Cabin in the Woods? Let's look upstairs. Oh, maybe in here. A Tragedy in Black. That sounds interesting. Ancestors in the Dumner? Maybe. Let's just go with the Tragedy in Black. Yeah. I have to uh, jump over Dwarven Spider frequently. It's very annoying, but uh, it's worth it because he is so cute <coughs> and fierce. Alright. A Tragedy in Black. A folktale from the time of the Oblivion Crisis. The Demora looked on the young boy with disdain. He looked to be no more than seventeen or eighteen, on the cusp of manhood. You, you have summoned me? Mother says I'm good with spells. Someday, I'm going to be a wizard, maybe even archmage. And what would your mother know of magic, boy? She's a wizard. She's an enchanter at the Arcane University. Ah, another dabbler in the mystic arts. I'm certain she is barely mediocre. You shut up. I read the scroll. I get to tell you what to do. The Dramora was silent. Dra sorry. Dramora. The Dramora was silent. Compulsion bound his voice. I want to know how to make a magic dress. I need it for her birthday. The Dramora's answer was more silence. You have to tell me. It's in the rules. Freed from the previous compulsion, the Dramora answered. 
First, you need a soul gem. I happen to have one, and would gladly give it to you for so noble a cause. Really? Why do I need it? With a hidden smile, the Dramora handed over the dull black gem. It is not enough to cast a spell upon an inert object. Magic requires thought, intent, will, and emotion. The soul powers the enchantment. The bigger the soul, the more powerful the enchantment. So how big is the one in this soul gem? Oh, that one is empty. You'll have to fill it. But it can hold the largest of souls easily. Do you know how to do that? No, the young man said, sullenly. Let me show you. You cast a spell, like this. The tendrils of the soul trap spell spilled from his fingers and surrounded the boy. The young man's eyes went wide. I didn't feel anything, he complained. How about now? the Dremora asked, plunging his talons into the youth's ribcage. His heart beat only once before it was pulled from his chest. <gasps> oh no! Quickly the Dremora snatched back the black soul gem. Just as the youth died, his soul tried to flee, but was trapped by the spell and drawn into the gem. Only black soul gems can hold the souls of men and elves. Your mother obviously never told you never to accept a freely given gift from a summoned Dramora, he said to the corpse. You see, it breaks the conjuration, freeing the summoned from the summoner. Summoner, Now, let's go find your mother. After all, I have another black soul gem. Oh, man. What a dark tale. Wow. Okay, so never uh, take a gift from a summoned Dramora. Very valuable lesson. Um, I've never actually learned the spell, uh, uh, Soul Trap spell. I always just like enchant my weapons. Oh, hey, R Raya. How's it going? What do you need, my thing? Nothing, just, uh, you know. Just mm -hmm. saying hi. Everything all right? Seems to be keeping things in order. She's a really good house, Carl. Did you like the story? <laughs> I don't think she likes uh, tragedies. I think she's more into comedy. But anyway, yeah, um, a dark tale. Um, I think we're gonna maybe chill here for the next couple days despite the uh, sad memories um, of my first wife <laughs> and my estranged daughters. Um, uh, we've been camping for, I mean, so long. So it'll be nice to sleep in a bed and uh, fill up on apple dumpling. Um, anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed A Tragedy in Black, um, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.